yo what's up boys i am doing a first look video for Mamen brigette which is uh a new magical assassin in the game literally only one of two out kwong and now Mammon. so pretty awesome and she's baron's wife she has a very big voodoo kit and there's a lot of words as you can see by me scrolling i'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible and break it down for you guys uh, if you don't want to know everything there is about the kit and you've already seen it, you can just skip ahead in the video to the part the part where I start playing the god in the duel. So I'll see you guys then. Everyone else, hello. Uh, so her kit is pretty much based around this little passive. You see this passive meter? She has this Pele meter that says 100 and it's blinking right now. You can see. She has a very unique auto attack chain of 0 0.5, 0 0.51. And the reason for that is because when you auto attack something or you do any tick of damage to a, a player, they get a little spike. And that spike, when you get five, you see they're ready to go in. When you get five, you get a soul orb. And the soul orb uh, increases the range of your ultimate. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and put everything on quick cast so that you can see the ranges of everything that was my bad um where's there's a reduced cooldown button here we go here we go here we go perfect so uh i guess first things first the passive basically every time that you auto attack or do a tick of damage the five spikes stab into the enemy god as you see there's going to be a button that says immune, a little oop. It says immune because they don't take damage. Uh, but it does a percentage of missing health. So the lower they are, the more damage it does, capping at 70% of their missing health to do the most amount of damage. Um, and it's a pretty significant amount of damage. Most of her damage is going to be coming from this. She has very low damage, as you can see here. All of her damage is very, very low, even as an assassin. And that is because she does tick damage. All, everything in her kit is tick damage except for her ultimate, which is this big orb thing. And um, it's basically a spear ball. She has base movement speed and omni movement speed, which is basically just a fancy way to say that she can move in any direction at the same amount of speed as if she were walking forward while alting. And she is CC immune. So um, there is that. Now... As I was saying earlier, I'm just going to auto attack a few times. I'll get my soul orb. You can see it's kind of big. I'll get one more. It's even bigger. Kind of more. Boom, boom, pow. It's even bigger. And then finally, you have all five soul orbs. And it's a massive, massive range. Uh, soul orbs last for 30 seconds. And as you can see, you can hit many, many people with it. So that does happen now they get cursed as well and uh they're marked with a madam's mark for five seconds madam's mark um i'm pretty sure uses her two right enemies with madam's mark take additional damage anytime mammon brigade damages them so they just take more damage so right here you can see madam's mark it does eight damage. Uh, eight additional damage. You can see the little five ticks. That's for my ultimate. Now, her first ability is going to be the one. And this uses the meter right here. So, you see this cone. You can shoot it out. And then it stuns afterwards. The more of the meter you use, the lower the cooldown of the stun is. Um, I'm recording. Uh, sorry, I was just... I'm getting my, my PTS opponent online as we speak. Uh, now, the, the more that she uses the, the fire breath, um, the more... or the, I'm sorry, the lower the cooldown will be. I, now, you can activate the stun whenever you want by simply pressing the button again you can cancel it with your right click or you can press the one button again which is going to stun 
Now, like I said, if you stun instantly, that cooldown is going to be longer. Obviously, my cooldowns are reduced right now by about 60 or 70% because of the reduced cooldown button, but you get the picture. Um, now, the one does tick damage, and it's kind of like Merlin's ability. You, you light them on fire, and they take uh, three extra ticks after your your fire ends as you can see and every single tick of damage is adding a spike as you can see like this like i said her passive is going to be most of her damage so utilizing this one is going to be massively important to your burst because let's say you want to fight right let's say you're like oh man i really want to fight but you don't have <clears throat> a lot of charge it's actually better that you waste some of your charge because then you can blink in you can one and stun and then your one comes back up really quick and then you can stun immediately again because you can just activate that it's really really good um and i mean that's basically our one that's all it is it's just tick damage the more you use, the faster the cooldown comes back up. The less you use, the slower the cooldown is. And that is because you don't want to prioritize using your stun over the amount of tick damage you're doing. The second is this cool little snake thing that it's like a, it's like crunchy. You know, it's like it zooms in and out really fell really fast. Um, now it goes through an enemy and it marks them with what your ultimate marks them with. Madam's Mark. This can multi-hit, as you can see here. It, it hit him like six or seven times. Obviously, subsequent hits do less damage, as with pretty much everything in the game. Um, but what it's doing, in case you're wondering, is it is doing an initial amount of damage and then applying Madam's Mark to all enemies hit, dealing 15% um, more damage. Or uh, subsequent hits only deal 15% damage rather than the full 100%, obviously, like I was saying. Um, and then soul spikes and item effects do not trigger from Madam's Mark. So your uh, passive, I guess, doesn't do increased damage if they are marked. Your passive does what your passive does no matter what. So you can't really abuse that, unfortunately. But basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to mark them with your two... And then you're going to want to do some damage. Light them on fire a few times. Um, and you're going to basically just be abusing your... Your low cooldowns. Because she does have low cooldowns. And your tick damage. To get a bunch of passive procs off. Over and over and over and over and over. And blow them up basically. Uh, her third ability is super simple. Boop. It's like Nox. But you're an enemy. That's, that's it. It's Nox, but you are in enemies. You do tick damage while you were inside an enemy, as you can see. Um, the initial damage is obviously much higher. So, like, the initial hit will do 117, and then the others will only do 28. Obviously, I have no items, and he's level 20, so there's a lot of mitigations involved. So it does do more damage than that, but, you know. Um, now, here is something cool about this is if you dash in and then cancel the ability you pop out right next to them because you're when you're trying to kill someone you don't really want to have to like dash out of them you know what i mean now dashing out does do damage as you can see you can dash out through an enemy and do damage so like if someone's body blocking let's say a guardian's body blocking their adc you can get on the adc like this and then instant stun and snake him and shit and then Go back over here and instant stun and snake him and shit, you know? Like, you can do a bunch of cool shit. Um, but basically, all it does, does some damage, does some tick damage, and then uh, shoots you out once you're at full duration, or you click the button. So if you, if you like, click your auto attack button, it will just shoot you in the direction you're looking. Or you just press 3 to shoot out if you want. But uh, the main thing you're going to be using this for is just right-clicking out. You're just going to right-click out and um, pop out right right behind them, mainly. And then I already showed you the ult, and that is basically everything that her kit is. A bunch of tick damage, a magical assassin, 
that's going to be utilizing passives a lot. Um, to basically just do a bunch and then obviously some movement speed. So I'll see you guys in the game. All right. Let's game, shall we? Let us game. Oh, he's Uller. Jesus Christ. I'm about to get ass blasted. I'm about to get ass blasted. Gee, first. Um. Hello, everyone that skipped the uh, the segment. The world is Welcome. Uh, what should I start? Probably just Bancroft. Well, it's all tick damage, right? Tick damage normally isn't very good with healing. Unless you're Anubis, I guess. Um, I probably don't want... This doubles in tick damage and slam damage when you rank it up. That seems crazy good. Oh, my eyeball. Alright, he's Uller. I'm going to need beads so I don't get clapped up by an axe. Get some of that. Get some of this. Get some bountiful bow. By the way, I see your comments. I see them. I see them with my eyeballs. I see you guys saying, oh my god, Sam, I love your videos, but I fucking pisses me off that you don't get a, a recipe. You're literally not even utilizing the new aspect of the game. You should be ashamed of yourself. I am. I am. Okay? I'm just stupid. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm, I'm dumb. What is he doing? Want to pause? Why? Does he need a pause? Oh, I guess he needs to pause. Okay. I just want to see what a full one will do to this. I'm already 50%. I'm already 50% juiced out and it's done 58 damage. That's not good. That is not good at all. Are you ready? Why is he pausing? Oh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, cool. Honestly, yo, that passive feels really strong, though. That passive feels really strong. Does this do damage to minions? What does? Don't you dare ask me a question. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in ya. Peace out, brother. Peace out, brother. Okay, alright. She's actually got some good clear. So what if I just like cancel that? Keep my fuel going. Dude, she's got good buff clear. Holy crap. She's got really good buff clear. Because if you just if you just do the tick damage instead of like spamming. Oh my god, she's got really good wave clear too. Holy shit, wait a second. She might be a dual god. She might be a dual god, boys. Hold on. Let's not get too excited yet. Let's not get too excited yet. But she might be a dual god, boys. That's insane. That's incredible. The maximum cooldown, by the way, is 14 seconds. And the lowest is 5 seconds. You can see right there. Ow. He's out of mana. Dude, look at that clear. There we go. There we go. Bro, her burst is like nutty. And her passive is so good. What? Her passive does so much damage. The spikes right here is my passive, you can see. And it's actually the most damaging part of my kit, other than my one. Like, the tick damage of my one. 
That's really good. I wonder if you could build her. Well, you probably don't want to build her auto attack based, actually. I was thinking initially, like, I probably want to build her auto attack based because of the fact that, you know, you get like a, a spike every time you auto attack. But you get a spike every time you do tick damage. So you don't even need to build her auto attack base. I will say she's got a very high skill ceiling, it feels like, because her, um... Dude, you literally just... You literally, you use your two, which gives you that increased damage because of the mark, right? And then you... Ouch. And then you just, you just poison them. And then your passive does the rest for you. You're dead. Jesus Christ. It, it's insane. It's actually insane. This God is ridiculous. She's a dual God. They've made the best dual assassin. Ao Kuang, step over. It ain't your time anymore, buddy. Stun. I missed. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Alright, I will say if you use your stun and you don't hit your stun, you kind of just die, I think. But also, you should, like... Her damage is crazy! Like, the one doesn't do that much damage, I feel like. It's all the passive. But, like, look at this. Boop. It clears the whole wave. Boop. Boop. And it feels like it almost uses no mana. Even though it uses a ton of mana. She's got really good mana control. Mana sustain, I guess. It's not called control. I'll take you. You can go on a walk. Oh, I wonder if you get mana refunded if you cancel. I don't know, actually. We should try that. Let's let's look. Let's see if we get mana refunded. Um for like stopping it so we have 660 you don't so only even if you use it like for a quarter of a second it costs 60 mana which is not good like that that's gonna be hard to manage but it's not that hard to manage because she's got she's a mage i just realized her mana is good Look at that passive. Look at that. Look at that. Dude. What in the motherfuck are they thinking? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? I'm doing... Like, my passive did a thousand damage. He shall provide me late game. I missed. Ouch. Alright, so if you use one tick of your one, then it leaves them with with four spikes so you need you need to use your one to get two ticks so one two and then it will proc the spike all right all right i'm learning i'm learning oh i suck
Dude, I can just abuse him. I can just abuse him. And the range is like really good. Look at that, dude. Look at my passive. My passive did 900 damage to him. What in the shit? My clear is so good. My mana is so good. My lifesteal is so good. This is incredible. I'm actually like... I'm kind of mind blown. Like, I didn't expect her to be this good. When I saw that her damage was really low, I was like, oh, okay. She's probably, like, decent. And her passive is going to carry. But her damage is super high. Like, she's all tick damage. But she has the mark that makes you do more damage. That, that also does tick damage by itself. Whenever you hit them. Like... I want to know which one of these numbers is my mark. Like, not my three, obviously. Not that, because that's my passive. Not that, that's my two. Because I want to know, like, my mark... ...is applied by my two, which makes them take 16 extra damage per tick of damage, or per instance of damage that they have. Which makes me think, like... Because I'm tick damage based, that does a lot. For me? <laughs> you shouldn't have. But am I wrong though? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna get my one really low. There we go. Five. So when I activate my one, it'll be instant. I'll blink in. Stun. I'll follow him with this, and then I'll use my one again. Oh! It worked? Oh my god. Yeah, my passive is my highest damage dealer. Dude. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Okay, her Titan Clear sucks because it doesn't use the passive. Yeah, her Titan damage sucks because it doesn't use the actual passive. But holy shit, man. That's crazy. Oh my God. What like. Dude. I'm kind of thrown back. Like, I don't know what to say, man. Like. GG Giga Gamer. GG Giga Boy. Dude. I wish there was a DPS meter in Spite so I could see. So I could see how much DPS output she could have. Because she seems like she has really, really high DPS. In a team fight? Oh my god. In a team fight, you're using your snake through people, putting targets on all of them, Madam's mark on all of them, and then using your one to proc Madam's mark plus your passive on every single person on the team. You're doing literal thousands of damage. Thousands. Probably like 5,000 damage. Oh my god. <laughs> she looks so cool, by the way. Yeah, she looks really cool. Um... Dude, let me know what you guys think of her. 
that was insane to me. Like, personally, that was probably the most insane first look I've ever done. That was the most insane first look I've ever done. That was incredible. I love it. I, I, I actually love it. Holy fuck. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.